Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Cloud Library app for the Thunder Bay Public Library. You'll see I already have it downloaded here. It's the white one in the center of the three. But if you need to get it, make sure you go to the App Store. All right, so I'm going to press on Cloud Library. And I'm going to select a language. I only speak English, so now I'm going to tap anywhere on the screen to continue. We are in Canada. We are in Ontario. We're at the Thunder Bay Public Library. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Select that. Then press on Next. And then Accept. And now I have a dummy card, if you will. So I'm going to type it in. All library cards start with 2934100. And then yours will be different from here on out. And your pin is usually four digits long. So now you'll see that we're logged in. There's four icons at the bottom. Home, My Books, Search, and Account. So if I press on Search, the main screen that you'll see here is the featured items. But I like to go to All. So that way we're not just seeing a sampling of what we have, but anything you may be interested in. So before we scroll and browse, what I'm going to do is go to the top right icon. It looks like a funnel. This is the filter button. So right now I have these preferences saved for ebook, available now, and English. But you can adjust as you need. If you want something in a different language, you can check that off as well. But I'm going to just pretend that I only want an ebook. So one that I look at the screen and read as opposed to an audiobook and one that's available now. So I don't want to wait for it. So I'm going to press save. The next thing I'm going to do is press on adult slash nonfiction. I'm going to select different categories I might be interested in. So let's say I'm not interested in business and economics. I'm going to deselect it. So now it's white. And you'll see near the top that there's adults, teens, kids, and nonfiction. There's also fiction if I press on that. And I can select or deselect as I like. So let's say I want Christian, I want classics, but I don't want mystery. I can deselect that. I don't want romance. I can deselect that. Now I'm going to save my preferences. So that's at the top right. Save. Now, if I wanted to browse through classics, I would press on all. You'll see classics and then all. And I can select any one of these to take out. So I'm going to press the green borrow button. Say I want this top one. Now I'm going to press read. And it's going to take one moment just to load. And now it's open. If I press the direct center of the screen, a menu bar will pop up. You'll see at the top there. This is where people really like to customize things. So actually, I'm going to just go on to a regular page. Here we go. And then press the center. If you see the double A's at the top, press on that. And there's some great options here. So there's a small A and a big A at the top of the menu that popped up. So if I press the big A, it gets bigger and bigger depending on how many times I tap it. Or smaller and smaller if I tap the small A. Something I personally like is night mode. And I find that's a lot gentler on the eyes. A lot of people really enjoy that. In order to flip through pages, you tap on the left of the screen or the right of the screen. You can also select scroll mode. It's green, so I can do scroll mode. And I would go up and down. But if you don't like that, again, just press the center of the screen, press the double A's, make that white again. And then you just tap on the right of the screen to go to various pages. And now I'm going to show you audiobooks. So I'm going to press again the filter near the top right. I'm going to select audiobook and I'm going to deselect ebooks just to see what there is. Press save. And let's see, I'll take this one out. Borrow. And now I'm going to listen to it. And what's really good about this is you'll see this there's a circle, so it's downloading. 
So let's say that you're going on a trip. You can just open this up and wait for it to download. It may take a minute or two, depending on the size of your item and the strength of your internet connection. And you can load it onto your device, so that way you can have access to it, even without internet uh, Wi-Fi access. But just for our purposes, I'm going to press the play button here. Swan's Way by Marcel Proust, in the translation by C.K. Scott Moncrief. And I can press pause by pressing that again. And once again, there's different options near the top. Make the narration go faster or slower, depending on your preferences. There's this three-line bar on the right-hand side. There's different tracks. And tracks usually mean chapters, but not always. It depends on how the publisher has divided it up. Press the X. All right, and then we're downloaded, so that's great. Now I'm going to press the X at the top left. And let's say that I wanted to go back to that ebook I was reading. Well, I'm going to go to my books at the bottom, and then I would just open it up again. So I would press read, and it's back to where I left off. I'm going to close out of here again. If you finish with the book early, you can press the red return button, or it'll just delete itself at the date and time it says. Also, if you get within 72 hours of an item being due, but you're not finished, as long as the item does not have a hold, there'll be a purple button that says Renew, and you can press on that and get more time. Lastly, what I always like to show people, if I go back to Search, what you can do is at the top right again with your filters, we can select suggestions for the library. So if we don't have access to a book or an audiobook that you might be interested in, well, you might be able to get it by doing this. I have suggestions checked off, so I'm going to press save. And let's just take a browse here. This yellow-orange suggest button, so let's say I want this top book, I can press on it, and I would be notified when it came in. Uh, not a guarantee, but I have personally gotten a lot of books like this. So I'm just going to remove suggest for now. Oh, another good way to search for items is, let's say I wanted James Patterson. I would type in James Patterson and search. And it's going to show items I can borrow. Yeah, there's a lot of audiobooks. You can always see it's an audiobook by the little headphones in the corner there. And if I go to my filters, let's say I just want ebooks. You can press borrow. Um, sometimes you'll have to put something on hold so that, oh yeah, here's a good example. Press hold and then when it's available you get notified and you get to take it out. And you can also suggest same as the other one. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day.